Greetings, my fellow humans. Suburban Herb here. Welcome back. In this week's video, our outdoor ladies get a couple nutritional treats as their buds begin to bloom. And then we check in on our Mac Nanas and Granddaddy Purples who are quickly approaching harvest but still require little TLC. Also, Blitz will introduce his newest grow as the seeds become seedlings. Transplants are imminent, so they'll be ready when their sisters here are harvested. Finally, we'll head down the road and check out some descendants of my plants in my neighbor's garden. Road trip, let's do this. Hey my friends, welcome back to the Viper Spectre tent. We're here on the Viper Spectre XS4000 and the Viper Spectre P2500. Underneath we have four lovely ladies from Turpy Highs. This is the fabulous and world renowned Mac Nana strain. Let's take a closer look. As you can see, we still have some lovely white reaching pistols. So in my estimation, we still have a few weeks left. Back there, we have our superstar, our outperformer. She's big and chunky and dense already. And yet, and interestingly enough, she's had these uh, this little bit of sag on her leaves her entire life. And yet, she is the superstar. Interesting. So this past week, what has happened? Just a reminder, uh, these girls are in cocoa with a little bit of worm castings and they've been fed predominantly Jack's 321. This past week, however, I did like outside. I gave them a little sprinkle of worm castings and uh, and that's about it. That's, uh, I don't suspect I'll be needing anything else for these girls in the last few weeks. Maybe I'll give them a little molasses, but other than that, that's gonna be it for uh, any kind of amendments, I would think. And uh, that's about all that can be mentioned here for the Mac Nanas. Looking forward to it. I've just uh, cured Mac Nanas in, um, for my last harvest. Cured them for four weeks, six weeks. It's a beautiful smoke, in my opinion. I love it, I love the smell, I love the taste. So I'm really looking forward to this harvest and uh, seeing if I can duplicate it. So that's it for the Mac Nanas. Let's check out next door. Hello, you bunch of misfits. So, the misfits, what can we say about them? First, we'll say they're here under the Viper Spectra uh, KS3000. It's a 300 watt fire array, array light. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, what can you say? The bar arrays are the way to go, I think. They're lovely, they're beautiful, they're easy. They're uh, uniform. What can you say? Bar arrays. <clears throat> so if you're interested in a Viper Spectre bar array, head down to the uh, description in this video and there's a discount code and you can save a little cash. Go on over to Amazon, save some cash. Check out the Misfits. So these are Granddaddy Purples from uh, thebeeseeds.com. Uh, I hope you can see that nice trichome develop development there. She's looking lovely. She is the standout there. And then we have the rest of the gang of misfits. <clears throat> Interesting, this is probably the least successful uh, kind of all-in-one grow that I've done. And I've done a bunch of them. I've done about four in a row. There's three in ones and five in ones and the Grinch. And now uh, this bunch of misfits, um, she's probably the least successful. Although we have some lovely plants, but um, uh, there will definitely be some lessons to be, to be learned here. Um, it's definitely something I'm going to try again. I'm, I'm, I really like to be able to dial in this process where you're basically taking clones and filling a big pot of soil and letting them go. Uh, but clearly my technique uh, needs a little bit of work. Um, uh, yeah, there's things to learn and I'm going to keep trying because it's kind of a cool concept if I can go straight from my aero cloner into a big pot. I kind of like that idea of basically zero veg. It's kind of interesting. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're going to try some more. They look great. Um, there was a little bit of here. Again, the same kind of similar damage, at least, to what I thought I was seeing outside, which is this, where it seems to just disappear kind of thing. Uh, kind of looks like a bug or some kind of, uh, yeah, something. Um, and I may have, man, that smells good. I may have confirmed that it is in fact caterpillars, but I, I'm not sure. I've just seen some evidence and people were mentioning caterpillars. So uh, it, um, it seems reasonable, but uh, basically got that one plant. Um, 
and nothing else. One last thing here with the Misfits, because they're long and stickly, I did add, I don't know if you can see them here, these little guys. These are beautiful little things for training your plants, but uh, I also f use them for support when the plants are small. You can just, and um, they don't do much to damage the roots, in my opinion. I don't have to go in very deep. I'm just putting that in and it'll it'll just hold her up. So I had to do that for a few of them, the tall grow back here, this one. Uh, the, the my, <laughs> my setup here isn't ideal either. I could work on that, but um, some of the out outliers here are starting to tumble but they're just big heavy sticks of bud so you can't blame them uh, last thing I would say is I could probably remove some of these leaves but these plants have so few I think I might wait just another little week or so and then I'll start and probably get rid of this guy but they just have so few leaves I don't want to remove too too many but we got some blocking going on so I am gonna remove them all right you bunch of misfits that's almost it for now. We may as well keep going. No, wait a minute. That's it for now. GoPro, stop recording. Apologize for that outburst. Blitz, that was totally uncalled for. Let's check out our new babies. Good morning, ladies. How are you? So what we have here are some photo periods and some auto flowers. We have a blue trees and a blue dream from the bseeds.com and an orange sherbet auto from the, the bseeds.com and uh, Iranian auto flower from Dr. Green Thumb Seeds. You can see they're a week old or so-ish. So we got a week or so before we're gonna have to think about transplanting them. Uh, they all look fine, so uh, n nothing to really report here. Um, other than I was having, I did have germination issues for two uh, that I wanted to actually germinate and I actually tried a couple extra seeds of each and those both dudded on me. So uh, I finally got a couple seeds to sprout and they are sitting here. I fully assume it was my method somehow, not to, it would be quite a coincidence if it was the seeds. However, I got a couple seeds going here and hopefully they're gonna take and we can catch them up and everything will be hunky dory. I think that's about it to report here. All is well. That's it for now. GoPro, stop recording. Hey my friends, we're out here checking in on our outdoor grow. It's been about a week. We've, um, we're three weeks into August. You can see that uh, we've got some reasonable bud development here. We got some nice white reaching pistols and some trichome development as a matter of fact. You may remember that we were having a little bit of a, what seemed like a bug issue here, mostly on this plant. There's still some remnants there, but it didn't really seem to get out of control. So I've sprayed a few times with neem oil, but um, uh, some people mentioned that it could be caterpillars. I did notice caterpillars on there, so that may have been what I was looking at. However, it hasn't really progressed too much, so not real worried about it. Um, they seem to be doing fine. The other uh, little thing that I had pointed out last week was this odd little occurrence, which is these purple, dark, dark purple splashes of bud. You can see it's even up on the trim leaves, but mostly in the bud. And the interesting thing is it carries on down the stem. So this bud here is also like that. See this? I don't know how well that's showing, but it's so dark. It just, I don't even, looks like somebody dropped purple paint on the top of the bud or something. And I got some wacky things going on, but um, it, yeah, it's just very odd that it's happening in each bud down the stem. It's right there on the top, stem, top bud and it's in there. I don't know what that is. If that's just actually purpling of the bud because of some kind of environmental issue, but look at this. It doesn't look particularly healthy. It doesn't look horrible, but it's very odd. See the way it's splashed up on the leaves? I don't know. So we got the granddaddy purple and the grill glue here. They are slightly less behind just as far as <laughs> as far as flower growth here. So here's what I'm gonna do. 
I have here in these buckets a little bit of Jax 321 Bud Enhancer. So I'm gonna give all these girls a blast of that just for fun, kickstart some uh, bud development in those last little girls. We're three weeks in August, we got a week left of August and then all of September and then we'll see how October goes with regard to weather uh, to see how long we'll be able to go into uh, October before we harvest. One other thing I was gonna do today, I did grab this off one of those plants. I noticed another one too, it's just a rotted bud just grabbing her off. You can see the trichomes there, or maybe you can't, but there's some trichomes quite a bit on there. So here's the other thing I'm going to do, and that is I have some worm castings here. I'm just going to give them a sprinkle over top. So just kind of a blast of micronutrients for their uh, last little period. I just had it out. I did the same thing on my indoor plants. So I thought I'd just do this. In lieu of making any kind of tea, I'll just throw some on top and that'll leach in slowly over the next month or so. And otherwise, I'm going to give them, uh, water this in with that beautiful blue material. This is an odd little plant here too. If you look in here, there's some big fat buds for some reason. See that? It's like a big fat bud right here too. On this branch in here. Look at this. Look at the size of that bud. There's a monster coal in there for some reason. Down on this branch. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Very odd. We got some monsters here growing down in the middle of the plant. All right, that's enough jibber jabber. I got work to do. That's it for now. GoPro, stop recording. Hey, my friends, I just thought I'd give you a peek at my neighbor's garden down the road because there are actually some grandchildren of my plants out here. This is not one of them. However, I did show you this plant before because this is one of the plants that had flowered at the very beginning of the season. So I showed you the plant. It had actually popcorn buds uh, back in May and this is how it looks now. So it went through a whole reveg process where it was just thick and ugly down here. All the buds were just exploding with material. That since all got removed and now we have a pretty reasonable and pretty nice looking plant. Not actually sure the cultivar, but this one I know. This is a stomped berries from Turpy Highs. So I actually gifted them this when it was, uh, you might remember it, it was in all my videos because she was sitting uh, uh, all alone with my four Macnanas, I think. I had the one stomp berries and nothing to do with it. So we brought her over here and slapped in this 30 gallon with some uh, compost and here we are. She's actually grown to be uh, yeah, taller than mine, but lovely looking plant. That's a stomp berries from Turpy Highs. Uh, here, this one over here, very similar to mine, is an Iranian diesel from Dr. Green Thumb Seeds. She looks really healthy, nice looking buds. Looks like they're gonna stack up well. We got a really skinny mini over here. This may be a Gorilla Glue. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but I had given her a couple really tall, skinny, clony things. And so they've actually turned to reasonably good looking plants. We topped them a couple times to even get them to spread out like this because they were literal sticks. But we got some nice bud development here. And they're looking good. So it is the last week in August. We've got uh, probably around six weeks left. So plenty of time to grow some big fat buds. But I just thought I'd give you a look at the neighbor's garden. Here's one more that had gone through the reveg process. This is actually a Skittles or Zittles or something. And she, same thing. She's got a little bit of uh, bug activity, but same idea. She had completely flowered uh, first early season. I don't know when it was, maybe it was June 1st. They had, they had buds almost this size and then they completely disappeared and looked horrible for a while. Came out with a lot of one uh, leaf stems and whatnot and leaves and then eventually they started looking normal again and here they are 
looking, she's a little bit ragged, but uh, compared to the way she looked, and that's been re-vegged, as is this one here, which looks uh, pretty good. And then our stomp berries. But there's the, uh, the neighbor's yard, garden. That's it for now, GoPro, stop recording. As you can see, Blitz grows weary of this video. So that's it for this week. We have harvest coming up that you don't wanna miss. We'll see you next time.